Hi, today I'm going to show you how to do a low fade along the sides and back. In order to make a proper fade on the sides and back, you will have to create fade lines around the head and blend them together. For each fade line, we will use different clipper guard settings, size 0, 0 0.5, 1, 1 1.5, and 2. The fade lines will determine where the hair transitions from a shorter length to a longer length. Start with the lowest fade line, 0, and shave all the hair below it. Fade line 0 starts slightly above the top of the ear and curves down along the occipital bone at the back of the head. Set the clipper to number 0. That's bare blades with no guard attachment and the lever is all way up. Don't forget to keep the hair dry as it will be much easier to work with and won't clog up the clippers. To produce a clean straight line, just reverse the clippers. Carefully place the reverse clippers at a right angle to the head, tips of the blades slightly touching the skin. Hair below line zero should be cut against the direction the hair normally grows. Tidy up the edges in order to make this cut as clean as possible. Take your time with this step and make sure that no patches are left behind. Do the same on the other side and always remember to check both sides. Doing this will ensure a symmetrical haircut don't forget to clean up any stray hairs on the neck below hairline. For the next step, simply create another fade line with the clippers set to 0.5. This new fade line should be about half an inch above the zero fade line. Set the clippers to 0.5. That's bare blades with no guard attachment and the lever all the way down. Start below the previous fade line and work upward in short, even strokes. You will notice that the zero fade line disappears as it will gradually blend into the new fade line. Gently fold the ears forward when cutting around them in order to get a more accurate, precise, and safer cut. Try to keep as consistent as possible all the way around the head, moving the clippers sideways over the fade line with multiple short strokes, up and out in a scooping motion. And remember to shave against the direction of hair growth. This will guarantee a smooth fade transition. Next, for the 1.0 fade line, simply repeat the process again, another half inch higher on the head, with the clippers guard attachment number one, but this time with the lever up. Basically, switching to longer clipper guards as you move up to each new fade line will produce a smooth fade look. When done correctly, it should be a nice, even fade with no visible lines remaining. Next, repeat the process another half inch higher to create fade line 1.5. This time, set your clipper guard to 1.5, that is clippers with guard attachment number one, and lever all the way down. For the final step, we use guard attachment number two and keep the lever up. Repeat the previous process, again another half inch higher, however this time using a scoop out motion, as this makes it easier to blend with the longer hair on top afterwards. Next, blend the top into the sides. There are different ways to do this, but today I will show the clipper over comb technique. Start with your comb slightly below the blend line, pointing the comb directly upwards. The hair protruding from the comb will act as a guide for the desired length. Comb upwards till the shorter clipped hair disappears behind the comb, then tilt the comb away from the head. Hold your comb still and cut the excess longer hair. If possible, use a bigger comb for this technique as it will make smoother blending. Repeat this process, gradually trimming down the longer top hair till it blends in with the shorter clipped hair. Be careful and cut a little bit less than needed. Instead, repeat the process to acquire the desired length. If you prefer, you can use scissors for blending. Check my other videos for scissor over comb technique. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this haircut tutorial and maybe learned something new. Make sure to leave any questions in the comments below and give this video a big thumbs up if you found it helpful.
Remember to subscribe and click the notification bell to be notified when I post new content. Thanks for watching. Join us again for more tutorials.